Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to write secret messages and how to reveal them. You'll need a piece of paper, some q-tips to write your messages, and then I am experimenting with some different liquids. I have milk, lemon juice, white vinegar, and to reveal my message I'm going to apply heat using a hair dryer. You should ask an adult for help with this. And I'm also going to experiment seeing if blueberry juice will reveal my message as well. Before I start my experiment, I made myself a little chart so that I can tell what I used to write my message and what I used to reveal my message, and then I'll be able to see what worked best. So across the top, I wrote milk, lemon, vinegar. Down the side, I have heat and berries. I think I wanna make a hypothesis. So this means that I'm gonna make a guess about which type of invisible ink I think is gonna work best and then which type of revealing method. I think that the lemon is going to show up the best. The number two ink I think will work best is going to be vinegar. And my number three is milk. I'm just not sure that the milk is going to show up. I think that the berry is gonna work better than the heat and we'll see if I was right at the end. Okay. The first thing that I'm gonna test is my lemon. I'm gonna, I cut my lemon and I'm gonna squeeze some of the lemon juice into a bowl and I will test that first. I chose a lemon, milk, and vinegar because these are um, three foods and three things I have around my house that are very acidic. And when we use these acidic things on paper, it's going to weaken the paper and then our message is gonna appear better. For something to be acidic, that means that it has a lot of hydrogen ions. And when something has more hydrogen ions, then it has higher acidity. If it has less hydrogen, then it has lower acidity. So that tells you whether something is a really strong acid or a weaker acid. And we'll see which one of these is more acidic and how it shows up. So I squeezed some lemon juice into my cup and I'm gonna use my Q-tip like a little paintbrush. And in my lemon section, which is in the middle, I'm gonna write a little secret message. So while it's drying, it's going to be visible. But once it dries, we won't be able to see it that much and we will need to use the heat or the berries to help make it appear. The second thing that I want to test is my milk. So far the milk doesn't seem to show up as much when it's wet like the lemon did. Last, I'm going to test out my vinegar. I'm using white vinegar because it's clear. Other types of vinegar might not be clear. So I think this will be more secretive when I write it on my white paper. Okay, my vinegar message is coming out pretty dark too. For this experiment, I'll give away my secret messages. On these ones, I wrote my name. In here, I wrote hi and hello, and for my last one, I tried two hearts. I'm gonna let them dry first, and then I'm gonna use my heat and my berries to reveal the message. So I'm just gonna take a blueberry in my hand, and it's already kind of making some dark colored, uh, like purpley juice on the bottom, so I'm gonna kind of roll my berry around in the juice, and then I'm gonna rub that onto my message. So you can see that the milk one worked pretty well actually. And see my lowercase e, r, i, c, and a. Lemon one didn't come out as bright as I thought it would. My heart showed up really well when I first started rubbing the berry over it, but now it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna go ahead and test heat on the top. So again, this is something that you wanna find a grown up to help you with and make sure that you have permission. I'm gonna hold it a safe distance away from the paper. I don't wanna get too close. And I'm gonna be really careful with my fingers so that they don't get too warm. Okay, so after applying heat, I can read the milk one and the lemon one a little bit better than I did before. You can clearly see that this one is a heart where that I did with the vinegar. But I did notice that as the berry juice is drying, some of the messages do seem to be showing up a little bit better. You can see that the berry juice is purple, but the heart is showing up in more of a bluish color, which is cool. Also notice that my message down here that I wrote with lemon juice, the H is showing up really well but the other letters aren't. So what I'm thinking is that when I wrote with my lemon juice, I had a lot of lemon juice on my Q-tip when I wrote the H, and then my Q-tip started to dry out as I wrote the rest of the letters, which might mean that if I had dipped my Q-tip back in the lemon juice for each new letter, they would all be showing up as well as the H is. So that is my new hypothesis. So when I do this again, I'm gonna use that method. I had guessed that the lemon juice would be the number one best one, vinegar would come in second, and milk would be third. Vinegar looks pretty dark right down here, but it also came out really well with the heat. So vinegar actually might be my number one choice. I said that berries was gonna work better than heat. 
I think that hypothesis was pretty accurate because my barrier messages are easier for me to read. But this was only one time around with this experiment. I could do all of this again using what I learned from doing it this time and see what works better. And then I'll know a little bit more sure what the best method is to write my secret messages. You could test with lime juice and see if lime works better than lemon. You could also test different kinds of berries and see what else works better. There's lots of different ways to test this out and become a secret message writer and decoder. Let us know what works for you.